here's some definitions of the different classifications of viruses. And really, when you get down to it, viruses are very clever. They can reproduce itself by attaching to other executable code. Remember, we talked a little bit about worms before, and now we're talking about viruses. You need to attach yourself, if it's a virus, to some sort of object. And typically, um, it's very similar to a virus in humans. It needs to attach to a, a host in order to infect it. So polymorphic, these are some of the, the most clever types of viruses that are out there. Because when we find viruses, we immediately can come up with a signature of that virus. We talked about hashes the other day. And if you recall, a virus is basically a file. It's a, a file that uh, can be hashed. So we can come up with a signature or a hash, right? That signature equals a hash, a fingerprint, based off of that virus. So let's say the, the virus is, you know, one megabyte large and it goes into a particular directory and it always has this code set. Well, because of that, we can make a hash and then come up with a, a very specific fingerprint or signature, an antivirus, to try to catch it. And so that's why you see the antivirus being updated all the time because with these new virus definitions that come out, there's new hashes being made. So with a polymorphic virus, on the other hand, once it executes, it actually rebuilds itself and makes itself different than the last time that it was compiled, which is very, very clever if you think about it. Because the hash that we had before, now if the program changes, the actual syntax of the program, that means the file has changed, and thus it would create what? A new hash, right? So every time that it runs, it's changing. I kind of call this the, the X-Men of viruses right here, right? Because it, it can, it's got many different shapes, many different um, ways that it can mask the signatures. So the stealth virus, just like it, you would think, it actually will... Uh, um, try to avoid detection. And sometimes these stealth viruses are smart enough that they can actually tell the antivirus to not look at me because you don't need to look at me. And I kind of think of, you know, the, the Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars. These are not the droids you're looking for. And what's the guy say? Well, these aren't the droids we're looking for. So it's kind of like that with the stealth viruses that, hey, don't look at me, keep moving, I'm hiding here. And sometimes, sometimes it, it can work like an immunizer out there to, to be able to try to avoid detection, which is kind of neat. Uh, but it can be very, very um, uh, devastating as well and nefarious in nature. Um, any of the, the retroviruses that are out there, they, they try to, um, to get around, kind of like we were talking about with the stealth, they may use another word that I oftentimes you'll hear is an Im immunizer, which means that it looks like it may uh, be already quarantined. So the antivirus may pass it by um, looking at it and saying, hey, we've already looked at that. We've already got the hash. So uh, somehow these retroviruses will uh, try to circumvent the, the antivirus software that way. And last but not least here, the, the multipartite, um, the multiple vectors or it could be multiple partitions of your hard drive, which if you get infected with one of these right here, you can be in some serious trouble. Not only would you, you maybe have to replace the entire hard drive, the physical hard drive, but you may end up having to, to um, lose all the information that you had on there if it wasn't backed up. So keep that in mind whenever you're going through and looking uh, to take this exam and uh, the virus definitions.